Here's my character tanking a bunch of monsters in a Tier 100 Nightmare Dungeon. I do this by maximizing my defense using three distinct strategies. While I use my barb as a proof of concept for these ideas, this video is not class specific and you can apply this tech to make any character tankier. The first major concept I want to discuss is how to minimize diminishing returns, and to do this you need to understand the difference between offensive and defensive stats. While your offensive buckets serve as multipliers for the damage you deal, your defensive buckets serve as divisors for the damage you receive. This is a very important distinction because these two processes are essentially the opposite. I'll be using the divisors that Barbarian has access to to illustrate these concepts, but if you play a rogue, just replace DR Bleed with DR Poison. Right? If you play a Sork, replace it with DR Burning. I think most people understand that to deal a lot of damage, you want as many multipliers as possible, but I'd like to quickly explain why. The game calculates the contribution of each bucket to the final damage value through a series of sequential calculations. I like to think of this like compounding interest in a bank account, such that each calculation adds interest to the principal, and then you draw interest on your interest. The more calculations that take place, the greater the growth. Divisors work in the exact opposite way. As more calculations are performed, the diminishing returns increase. This brings me to my first main premise, and that's that gearing for defense is essentially the opposite of gearing for offense. Instead of investing in many small buckets, you want to have a few large buckets. All damage reduction stats except armor suffer from diminishing returns between buckets, as I've illustrated above, but they also suffer from diminishing returns within their bucket. For example, if you have a chest piece equipped that has 20% DR to close, and then you equip pants that have 20% DR to close, instead of actually receiving that added of 40%, you're going to have 36%, again because of sequential calculation. Because of this, I recommend matching the DR stats on your chest and pants. You're still going to get diminishing returns within each bucket, but you minimize your diminishing returns between buckets and therefore maximize the damage reduction that you get from these stats. Scaling armor is absolutely the best way to increase your damage reduction. There are a few reasons as to why armor is so powerful. First, the diminishing returns within armor's bucket are much more forgiving than the other DR stats. It doesn't seem to be any more difficult to increase your DR contribution from armor uh, from 60 to 65% compared to 80 to 85%. And this is huge because, again, we want uh, as big of buckets as we can get. Um, second, armor also avoids any potential diminishing returns between buckets because the game always calculates it first. Um, if you can increase your armor from 60% to 80% without sacrificing your other DR stats, your effective health will just double against physical attacks. It'd be multiplied by 1.5 for elemental attacks. The last tip I have for you guys is to increase your life pool as much as possible. There are only five pieces of gear that can roll life, and my character only has the life rolls on four of them. I also gem for life, and you can see that my health increases by over 50% when I put on these five pieces of gear. This is a massive increase in survivability, provided that I'm optimizing my damage reduction properly, because as I scale my defenses, each point of life can absorb more damage and thus becomes more valuable. This is why I gym for life instead of damage reduction while fortified. Not only will I get diminishing returns when I swap in the sapphires, but damage reduction while fortified is my fourth largest defensive bucket and not nearly as important for my survivability as my armor or my general damage reduction from my challenging shout. Since my life scales with my larger, more impactful buckets, increasing life is a better option for my Barbarian than damage reduction while fortified. Thank you all so much for watching my video. If you want to see these concepts in action, I'll be linking my Barb build guide and then my tier 100 clear down below the like button.